Okay, now, I want you to see a beehive. Become a bee. Go into the beehive. Look around. See what you see in there. Now walk into a bakery. Take a deep breath. Breathe in the smell. Run your hand over a fur coat. Feel the texture. Now you're serving birthday cake to a bu birthday cake to a bunch of young children at a birthday party. Listen to all the noise, all the chatter, all the excitement. Now you're at the beach. Warmth, sound, smell. Lie down in the sand. Smell the salt air. Feel the sun against your skin. Okay, now I want you to imagine a gingerbread man, a gingerbread cookie with a happy face and buttons. Now I want the buttons on this cookie to be black buttons. Now I want you to have a vanilla cookie, a white cookie, with brown buttons. Now zoom right up close to the surface and notice the texture of the gingerbread in detail. Now I want you to imagine a health energy body with a tiny spot of stage one lung cancer. Now imagine what that health energy body would look like with a stage four lung cancer. What would it look like with one dysfunctional kidney? With a brain tumor? What would that health energy body look like with the flu? And what would it look like with one who has no health problems at all, who's very healthy? Now take a look at the health body of Hawaii Governor Linda Linglo. Look at your own health energy body. Notice the state of your mind and your feelings. Look at the health energy body of a significant other, parent, child, spouse, friend. Notice the state of your mind and your feelings there as well. Now look at the emotional body of someone who is unhappy and someone who is feeling terrific, someone who is feeling sad, someone who is very angry someone who's depressed and suicidal. Then finally look at the emotional energy body of a couple falling in love. Now look at your emotional body. Look at it the last time you were angry. Now I'd like you to look at the spiritual body of a saint a homicidal maniac, a drug addict, the average person. Look at your own spiritual body. Now look at the spiritual body of a significant other. Okay, that's it from the warm-ups. Did you notice that your state of mind and your feelings when you're working on yourself or a significant other is different than it is if it's somebody you don't know? Yeah, that's because you have some ego attachment to how that turns out. You don't want to see certain things and you want to see other things. That's a difficult thing to do. That's the same reason why doctors don't operate on their own children or their spouses, because they can't be impartial. They can't make good decisions anymore because they have ego invested in the outcome. Okay, so that doesn't mean that you cannot do that successfully for the, your loved ones and for yourself. It just means that you have to work very hard to get rid of ego and not have that attachment. Then you can do that. Now notice we did all these just with your imagination. Well, what we have accomplished is that you have just been calibrated. You've been calibrated with your own metaphors for all of these things we just talked about. The reason I went so quick is because I didn't want to give you time to 
manipulate, operate, second guess. Oh, well, it should be more like this. Maybe I really ought to be like that. You know, that's not the point. You say it, blimp, the idea comes in. That's the idea we want. You go on to the next one. So the, the speed of it was purposeful. I didn't want you to take the time to get it right. I wanted you to get it the way it came because that's the kind of data you're going to get when you do a query. It's just what comes. If you say, oh, well, that's what comes, but that doesn't look right to me, and you, you know, now you've lost it. You're no longer, you're no longer really reading the database. You're, you're making things up to suit you. Okay, so that's why we did it so very quickly. And this was just your imagination. So, you know, what is it now about imagination? Is there anything real about that imagination? Well, your imagination is just being used as a tool. It's just a tool to help you focus on these things. The real key here is the information you get, not the tool you use to get it. Okay, so you can imagine the gingerbread cookie. We're going to use this gingerbread cookie as a humanoid form when we do the healing. And it shouldn't be any harder for you to imagine a, human, a humanoid form than it was for you to imagine a gingerbread cookie. If you can imagine a gingerbread cookie, you can imagine a humanoid form. It's just your imagination. Just pick one out. You see, that's not where the action is. That's just a tool. Your imagination is the fine thing for a tool. It's have the intent that, and then we're talking and you're going to see it in this gingerbread cookie. This gingerbread cookie, humanoid form, is your output format. Right? We're, we're specifying what the output output format's going to be. And as I go through this, I'll, I'll be telling you what the output, what you're going to intend and what the output format needs to be. Then you just open yourself up and get the data, whatever pops in there. So that's the way we're going to work it. So I have people that say, oh yeah, no problem. I did those gingerbread cookies. I did those human rights form and we were just imagining it. But then when it was like somebody's, you know, energy body, I got a blank. Couldn't see a thing. You see, that's a performance issue. And that's because they have a belief that, all right, imagination is one thing. That's easy, but this is the real thing. Now I'm looking at somebody's real energy body. Energy body is just a metaphor. The data is what's real. The energy body is our output format. We're asking the data to come back in. If you can imagine a gingerbread cookie, you can imagine it in a humanoid form. Okay? Don't get twisted up over um, not performing something that somehow is, is hard and difficult. Okay, the right approach. No one's going to check answers. The point is not to get the right answer. The point's the process. Okay, I'm leading you through a process. You may or may not get the right answer. That's not no, the, the issue. issue. The, the issue, issue is, is to understand, understand the process, process that you can, can work with this process on your own, or, or use it to, to uh, modify, modify the process you already have, or, or, or discard, discard it if you want. It doesn't matter. matter. But, but it's, it's the process, process that's, that's important. important. You not the result. So I'm trying to get rid of the, of the uh, performance anxiety, which is usually a big killer of this. People feel like they need to perform and they want to get the right answer. They want to do it right. We run that school. Now, that's what's important. You get the right answer. And we have that as a belief. It's hard for us to let that go. Very hard. But you need to let that go. You need to feel, you need to give yourself permission to fail. You need to give yourself permission to do it wrong. Heard of beginner's luck. luck. Why, Why do beginners, beginners get so lucky? lucky? Because, because beginners, beginners don't expect to do well. well. They expect they not to do well. well. Oh, it doesn't matter. They're, they're really going to try to just throw the ball see if they can just fall down. down. You know, and they do really, really well. And then by the time they play their second game, now they expect to do well and they you know, can't keep it out of the gutter because now they're trying hard, which suppresses their ability tremendously. It's the same thing. So we don't want any of that. We don't, we don't really care about your right answer now. But I will give you truth, so you'll know whether they're right or not, but that's not the point. It's just the process. No expectations. No intellectual control. No analysis. Your mind can direct. It has to direct because you want to direct the query into the database. But that's different than analysis, which is second guessing. Is this right? You know, how should it be? Does that make sense? That's the analysis. That's the, the judging sort of thing. You judge. Immediately, you, you want to get a right answer, and then you make a judgment of you know, what your score is. You know, how well did I do? That sort of thing messes you up. Just a dispassionate scientist is what you have to be. All right. Um, forget all the usual techniques. We're going to forget lengthy preparation and relaxation. Forget formal meditation. Just let your intent direct the action. Okay? Don't try to do it. Let it happen. Let the information come to you. 